Hello and welcome to a very special edition of New Kids on the Blog. The reason why it's special is, well, we've changed around our format a little bit. Usually on New Kids on the Blog, you just have student union leaders and we discuss the days and the weeks, big stories with the future politicians, future political leaders. But today, in a turnaround, they join me, student union leaders join me in interviewing our special guest, that's Union Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Thank you, ma'am, for being here. Thank you. And yes, Thanks very much. Also, why it's special is because we're in Jawaharlal Nehru University and Nirmala Sitaraman is from here. So, it's a special coming back to your own college. And I believe you did your master's over here. That's right. Master's, my MPhil and also my PhD. Submitted my thesis went away but didn't come back to defend my thesis so I don't have a PhD as yet but yes an MA MPhil. Let me introduce you to some of our main interviewers as well because New Kids on the Block is all about young student union leaders and getting a perspective, fresh perspective on you know what they're thinking about. Uh, we have from ISA and a former student union, uh, part of the JNU Students Union, we have Ramanaga from BAPSA, which is an Ambedkar students group. We have Bhopali and Vivek. From uh, NS, uh, NSUI, we have Sunny Dhiman. And from ABVP, we have Abhijit Devedi. So all of them will be joining me. They'll be asking questions as well. I wanted to start off by asking you, ma'am, that at a time when we are seeing a lot of political parties, most of them now standing against you and telling the government you've done something wrong, you've made a mistake. Does the government then feel isolated? Well, uh, if the arguments that they are putting forth are substantial to make us think, yes, we would have felt, oh my God, have we done something wrong? But now, after one full day's discussion in the Rajya Sabha, and maybe extended to all that they speak outside too, we are not able to see as to where they are. Are they with people who are having black money? against whom action was demanded of us or are they with the people of India saying yes we need to cleanse our system we need to do something sometimes drastic but it's not as if the government is uh, you know not sensitive to the difficulties people are undergoing we are trying to do something to clear it at the earliest but to question the very motive behind the decision to me is ill-informed. So the motive is right but when they say that look you know you want to get back black money but to get back a fraction of the black currency or the black economy to attack only a fraction of it that you upset or inconvenience a large number of people and they've particularly gone by the poor they're saying it is anti-poor that it's not going to affect their life at all when everyone is saying that, and with you today, I think only the BJD and the TRS is outside, even the AIA DMK seems to be agreeing with the other side as well. There but must be some rethink, ma'am. No, no. I just want you to tell me, they're all together for what? They are saying what is it that we they want? stand for poor, poor people's rights. How very, very disappointing can I say this is? Standing for poor? Poor? are standing by the Prime Minister when they are standing in the queue and speaking about the difficulty that they are going through which we are very sensitive to they are very clearly saying yes for once there is a Prime Minister who has taken a firm action and the fraction that you are talking about I am sorry I don't think there is an assessment of it and I am not calling all those who are holding 500 rupees and 1000 rupees who held it till now are black money holders yeah. I am not saying okay. that at all okay. but let's understand if 86% of your total currency which was in circulation is in the denomination of 500,000 and many of which was not even coming into the circulation, actually making the whole process a bit more cumbersome, it was, it was getting stashed away somewhere, that after this declaration, saying that it ceased, they both ceased to be legal tender from the midnight of 8th, 9th intermission, and by 30th December, they should come into an institution, whichever bank be it, yeah. and post that, go to RBI. But even today, how much has come into the banks? 
5.6 lakh crores in the last counting. It, yeah. didn't, it didn't even enter into banking institution. They were lying somewhere. Shouldn't it really be in circulation? But they say it's coercion, ma'am. What is coercion? That, that you're forcing poor people to stand in line and instead of they should be earning a living, the daily wage laborer is spending precious hours doing that. Whereas the really fat cat is finding some other way, still using a black economy to make his black That's not white. true at all. Any account which has money and where there is a transaction through a checkbook or check or a rupee card, which mind you, after the Jandan accounts were opened, everyone after a couple of months did get a rupee card and they could also take their money using the rupee cards. And today, in many of the Jandan accounts, I think the latest statistics is about 21,000 crores have reached Jandan in this process. Earlier you knew what was deposited. If people are using their cards to take, rupee cards, and I'm not talking about credit cards which in the hands of very few people. Mm. Now, therefore, banking transaction. Actually, if you did see, uh, and I'm sure you're active in social media, you see the various ways in which people have found ways. And I'm not saying that has got to be justified or condemned. If they found ways of carrying on with their business, it's going on. For us to think that, oh my God, these poor people don't know ways of, you know, getting their money. On the contrary, I'll give you this example which the finance minister used in the parliamentary party meeting that we had. In 1996, when BJP held its national executive in uh, Mumbai, the party had asked for eight mobile phones so that it can be used. People laughed saying, what are you doing? How many people in this country use mobile phones? Why do you want the mobile phones in the first place? And at that time, if anyone had suggested that there will be a digital revolution and people will be using mobile phones, we would have laughed. But what has taken over? And from then till today, we are talking about, oh, the poor, they don't know. It is today the poor who is benefiting by the digital you know, instrument in their hand whether the public distribution system, whether the go-downs which are sending the grains to the PDS, message comes in your SMS through your mobile phones, not smartphones, mind you. The response thing, then I'll hand over to the student union leaders, response thing, many are pointing out, okay, so if we, if we accept what you're saying, that you, know, the, you can't question the intentions, the intentions are fair and the people are benefiting from it. But ma'am, you would admit there have been mistakes in implementation, that perhaps things could have been done better if the recalibration of the machines were done, if there was thought enough that, okay, fine, because that 4,500, 4, going back to 2,000 limit, this changing of things, it did confuse things around. The changing of 4,000 back to 2,000 happened after a few days of the 4,000 was running currency, in the sense was acceptable. And once we started having absolutely, uh, what do you call, authentic reports from the ground that it is probably getting misused, we reduced it to 2,500. Because it was getting... Yes, we had very Not because credible cash was running No, out. no, no. Credible reports of the same people coming back to collect 4,000 all over again. 4,000 all over again. But the indelible and link took yes. care of the thing. But yes. why reduce the number? Because... Even by then, many people had already swapped their old currency for something new. These are swaps, right? You give your money, yeah, yeah. take money back. You're not depositing yeah, into the account. Yeah. For those who are depositing in account, there's no issue at no, all. No, of course, yeah. there isn't. No, crowds are reducing, but it's unsure whether in the villages things are improving that rapidly or not. Yeah, Rama, go ahead with your question. Uh, Ma'am, since you have done your study in JNU, in Center for Study of Economic uh, Studies and Planning, so my simple question is, uh, I mean, did the government do proper planning before announcing this thing? As an economist, if I pose this question, and I have uh, also heard uh, the professor from your center, CESP, they are saying that there was no proper planning, the, the government did not do proper homework before going this thing. So this was the thing. Has the government done proper planning and arrangement before announcing this thing? Because as an economist, if you think yourself, Black money less in different form. It may be gold, it may, it may be liquid, it may be uh, property, any many ma other forms. Now the government says that now the go poor will access their money through Paytm by 
uh, big bazaar and all these things. But we know that the people who go to big bazaar and they access the, uh, the Paytm service, they are the rich. So this this is my question. Whether the no, I'm glad you asked this question. I'll tell you there. The government is not looking at this as the only source of tracking black money. If you would have noticed, since the time this government came into place, the first decision the cabinet took was to form the SIT, which was lying pending for three years, even after Supreme Court had said for the government then to form the SIT. Mm -hmm. We formed it the, as the first decision. And after that, did we wait only for this? No. We took several decisions towards tracking black money abroad and black money in this country. Black money abroad, we made sure that we tied up with many of the countries which the previous government had also started and they had also obtained lists from different countries of people who have accounts abroad. Now when you have accounts abroad and when the list is given to you, they don't tell you which among them have kept non-tax paid money in the account. They just give you a list of all those who hold accounts. Whether all of them are money without tax being paid somewhere and kept somewhere there or not has to be established after enquiry. So that process is going on and once the enquiry clearly uh, gives us evidence to believe that there is somebody who is not paid tax neither here nor there, we then file a case first of all letting know the SIT and then only the name is revealed. So it's not just one step. Several steps have been taken, looking at black money outside the country, but which looking of those at black money here. Ma'am, which of the sorry, ma'am, which of those steps will stop further generation of black money? Each one of them should. All of them should. Yes, each one of them should. Okay, okay, go ahead, Vivek. Uh, <coughs> actually, my question is, I personally feel the government is partially considering the whole whole problem of black money. Black money is not all about stock. It can be black money can be. A flow so concept as well. Obviously. For example, when out of 100 percent, when 86 percent currency are in the flow, and when people who are mostly using and stacking those money, they may not be necessarily rich. They may be poor households also. And when you will suddenly withdraw the 500 and 1,000 notes, which is 86,000 in circulation, 86 percent in circulation, then it is directly going to affect to the middle class, to the poor and to the marginalized sections of the society whose banking behavior, whose banking pra practices are very less. And, and the sincerity with which the government is uh, discussing about the black money, it seems to me very uh, partial or very discriminatory to the marginalized communities, to the poor, co poor people and very favorable to the rich and the corporate class Can precisely because. Can you speak from instance? Or are for you instance. The, 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 suppose I am earning one, 100 rupees, my profit is 100 rupees and I am reporting that my profit is 20 rupees, then eight, that 80 rupees will, be, will become black money. And I, being a capitalist, being a corporate class, I will not stock that money, 80 rupees. I will rather invest in other things. And so that, that, that black money will be accumulated over a period of time, which is How already in the flow. With due respects, with due respects, flow stock. Hasn't this been addressed in this very case? Hasn't this been addressed? The fact is, some money comes into the bank and some doesn't. The flow is affected. The flow is affected. I'm sorry, listen to me for a minute. Yeah, yeah, Isn't the flow affected? Yes or no? It is affected. The flow is affected. If there is a flow, you'll know where to track it. If it's not flowing and if it's held somewhere, held for some reason, you do not know and it is getting accumulated probably through real estate transactions where 50% is taken as cash. This amount might vary. Some place it is 70, some place is 50. 50 is taken as cash, 50 is taken as check. Isn't that 50 adding to that stock? The flow going into the stock? So you can't really draw that line between stock and flow and accuse the government of saying, oh my God, you're not looking at the flow, you're looking at the stock. They're both interlinked. Okay. First thing. I missed out on answering one thing about what you asked. Government could have been prepared much better. We have done our preparation maximum best. And on a scale of this mag magnitude, where the Indian currency has... 500,000 denomination to the extent of 86, which is what we are repeatedly saying. To 
get back that amount of cash back into circulation is not going to be pre-planned so much to the extent that much before you announce this program you come with that money ready in the retail banks and give a sense of oh my god why are all this is happening is there something going I mean people are sharp they they obviously going to read what is uh, going to happen I have a question uh, not a typical question which is usually comes to you uh, first is an observation like to kill a ma kill a, a man eater tiger the whole forest was burned to the ashes uh, yes you are rightly saying that yes you uh, there has been steps taken by the government of the day since 2014 and below uh, before it of course but yeah, I, I want to talk from the side of little uh, far that is the finance capital the finance capital has entered our economy they are moving their money since the government has been formed the 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 limit was upper limit was 60000 rupees uh, dollar which you can transfer to the f foreign accounts now step by step it has been increased to 2 lakh 50000 rupees uh, dollar why why this second uh, the money you you are talking about uh, i belong to the marginalized section I belong to the grassroots, so I'll raise the question because the 60% or 55% population of this country does not use rupee or any kind of ATM card. They use, they don't use any, because if I'm a, a, a vegetable vendor, I won't use any ATM card. I won't use any account, even though government has provided me an account. So what about those people? Were, were those people be, uh, being punished by the government that you are not... you? part of our economy, banking economy, therefore we are going to punish you. So what okay, kind of response. system yeah. which this has been created? And the last, then last point yeah, I want to raise, no last, <laughs> last point, last point I want to raise, yeah. like the 2000 rupees note, uh, I was talking to the third highest position, RBI person, he was telling me that yes, the action is good, even I say action is good, but the 2000 rupees note came earlier than 500 rupees, that is kind of idiotic I see uh, I think because you don't have hundred rupees note in circulation so how will you change the two thousand rupees the news are coming that in rural area nobody is going to use their ATM because they know they are only two thousand rupees not there so simple is like my my question is from the marginalized section the informal economy many of our MPs even if you want to exclude me many of our MPs are also from the marginalized sections and that can be done. All right. Symbolically. Excuse me. Are you undermining the importance of Indian electorate? Reserved sections are there? Yes. SCs, STs, minorities, whether from one party or other, they are all there. Are you, you saying also the constitutional provision is a propaganda? Reservation is a propaganda? I mean, excuse me. Constitution, ma'am, constitution is not propaganda. Reservation comes from the constitution. Ma'am, you are not talking about the those people whom I am go, I'm trying to represent, those people who are part of the informal economy, who are either ready wala, dood wala, they do they don't do pay TM, they don't do any no, wait a minute. rupee I'm card. No, no, wait they don't a minute. do. And uh, for an example, ma'am, there is a juggi near to JNU. I went there and I found that those people has earning of more than 250,000 uh, no, you, you should have some time for others to say yeah. answers, you know. Okay. Your observations are important. Your uh, observations are important, but so should others' viewpoint. Yeah, you. Where did you give me a chance to reply? You seem to be taking the mic to tell me. No, sorry, you don't know anything. We know everything. There are members. I'll just answer him and come back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll just answer him and come back to you, please. Yeah, sure, sure. There are members of parliament who are elected and who come from if I understand your language right, marginalized, marginalized sections. That doesn't, that doesn't matter to me. If it is serving the Wait, interest of the... Excuse me, you seem letter. to be refuting everything I say. Sorry, let her... Sorry, go ahead. Ma'am, let please go ahead. Okay, he my doesn't want my answer, he wants no, only to voice his opinion. Which is, giving, which is being a student of JNU. A few which is being a student of JNU. I'm finding it surprising. Which is being a student of JNU. doesn't represent me. You as a poor. No, as a listen, poor. I mean, you I can't think, appropriate let's everything for yourself. Let's just you know? move on. Sorry, no, no, no. Sunaitu, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, you're all you're a student. No, 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 no. No, no. My point is that whether. One minute, ma'am. One minute. 
you are a student no excuse me letter what no 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 excuse me ma'am 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 pali one second let's listen to ma'am okay what do you say letter what you said something letter ha thank you yeah I voted with clear answer. Sally, yeah. I think I think you spoken enough. So so let, let me speak. Yeah. Accept my answer yeah, or not. Exactly. Accept my own answer or not, but have the strength, conviction to hear somebody else. I thought this place was known for it. I thought this place demanded it. I thought this this is also part of my answer. I thought this place always prided itself that we allow all kinds of opinions to prevail here no wait a minute i don't want a running commentary i'm sorry my flow of thought is affected i didn't stop you when you were you know pondering over all that thought yes, ma'am shall we move on no yeah. wait a minute so this gentleman <laughs> requires this answer yes sir there are people in the house who are representing these sections you you repeat your commentary i should put up with that okay i'll i'll, I'll, I'll. I think this gentleman is not interested in my answer. Please go ahead. Okay, my point is uh, whether it's you or whether it's us. You being in parliament, we being in Jeni, we are little in safer zone and not much affected by these decisions. Mm. But outside, if we see, you also mentioned about social media. That maybe you must be also seeing social media. We have seen people more than fifty, close to hundred deaths have happened because of this decision till now. What about those casualties? And the second thing is that uh, because it's a decision taken by your government, you might. Uh, uh like you know always defend it but the point is that before getting 500 and uh, 2000 rupees notes in the market or in atm there were bjp parliament uh, not parliamentarians but vidhayak or even bjp supporters whose pictures were circulated in media that they were already having 2000 rupees notes Haan, with them so what about that okay. is it not a corruption is it not a internal corruption within bjp how you talk about it it is there in social media let me answer yes. ma'am yes. i am not refuting your answer your thing but i will certainly ask you to tell me with credible evidence as to where you found it i'll ask somebody to investigate it and give you the results of it but the fact remains it was a decision taken with utmost secrecy because it is an issue with it is an issue with a great deal of sensitivity an economy of our size and our economy being very layered where many sections are still not completely into the financial inclusion and that is why we have started the jandhan yojana by which we have reached every household and made sure that every adult gets an account that has been there since 2014 as a campaign our attempt is now to show that very clearly we are sincere about taking steps which are required for black money eradication and in the process when we have decided to withdraw 500000 the 2000 rupee note had to come into circulation and as a result of which uh, 2000 came in and after the announcement the three or four five days later 500 came in the new versions 100 rupee notes are still there and their numbers might be low because obviously 500 and 1000 themselves reached 86 but this but this allegation that somebody from the bjp had it before somebody from the bjp had this news before is ab- absolutely baseless many of us in the cap- because it's contradictory That's it is absolutely contradictory you are saying something that we knew about it and we wouldn't these are things which can be held back by somebody let anyone investigate i mean this is I mean, I without to basis to throw an allegation saying oh you benefited bjp ma'am Absolutely. i wanted to ask you this uh, you know because politics is a perception game and when one of the things which obviously is very very sensitive because we're seeing deaths now not all of them happen happen and they're mostly senior citizens but does that how are you all planning to tackle that these rising number of deaths that are taking place where the families are saying look it's because of this they were waiting they were stressed they had a heart attack because of this the child died because he went to hospital they won't accept the note how are you all planning because it must be very difficult as regards hospitals instructions were given 
that they cannot send back. I understand. I'm just the whole deaths, the people deaths. How are you all? You know. No, I see. It's very unfortunate. I will not want to go beyond this because the moment I utter anything, it will undermine the intensity of the tragedy. I am not going to say anything more than this. It is unfortunate. Okay. Next question. Someone from the back. Hello, yeah. ma'am. Uh, my name is Govind and I am a student from Nepal. As you must be knowing that in is Nepal... Is mic working? I can hear you, but still. Huh. In Nepal, uh, we use Indian currency, 510,000 rupees. Uh, after demonetize of these notes, uh, many people are suffering from that. Uh, do you think uh, Indian government is taking any action to help those people? Some inputs have come from Nepal, Bhutan, where Indian currency were almost legal tender within their area. So, I'm sure the government will take a call on it. Yes, inputs have come. Okay, AVVP has an asked a question. Please, <laughs> I'll come back to you, Rama. I'll come back to you, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Abhiji. Ma'am, uh, I, I also come from an area, may, maybe not belonging exactly to that to that Malai section, but I also come from an area which doesn't have a school, which doesn't have the resources, which doesn't have that kind of prop, that, that kind of resource which normally people are having. I find that a scheme that people are having a good belief. Please, 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 please let let me speak. Yeah? Uh, uh, go ahead, um, go ahead, please, uh, Abhijit. Yeah. So in that case, I find that this is a scheme which is very much important, which is very much necessary for ending a lot of problems to people, which people face. If you see the hospital, when in Bhuvaneshwar the tragedy took place, when 63 people died. Okay. In that case, What's we find that it was because of this uh, stark black money, which was not accounted for, which was being paid, and because of which the compliances were not taking place and people died. In my town last year, because the kind of compliance did not take place, it, 18 people died in a in a hotel because the exact kind of survey was not done. When you have a better mechanism wherein wherein the money can be tracked, and okay. if you see the large number of majors which, which ma'am told data exchange agreement, even even two days ago that agreement was signed with Switzerland. So in that case, the government is taking a large number of steps. Okay. Maybe the no, no, one thing yeah. which sorry, I'm cutting you yeah. down. Yeah. You may not have asked the question, but the fact remains. Let's take the example of workers in the plantation, tea estates, plantations. I have personal experience. Not once, twice have gone till the border of Bhutan to see the halat of tea workers. I am taking this as an example. It might be applicable for many other sections too. They don't get paid minimum wages, mm. even determined as determined by the state governments. There is a component that estate work owners have got to pay them in kind. If the total wage that they have to earn is 200 rupees, some amount is decided, let's say 110 is given as cash, the rest is given as kind, rice, oil, uh, medicines, whatever. Whilst providing a house, providing electricity, but of course the bill will be paid by the owner, I mean by the resident, are all part of the plantation requirements. In spite of us following it up, we don't get clear evidence that minimum wages is being paid to these workers because it's paid in cash. Now, if only you can see the intention, this steps leading towards a less cash-using society. I would, that is why I'm shocked that if I can use this expression, the so-called claimants to secularism, those parties and the so-called upholders of poor, hard working, you know, working class, the Communist Party, yeah. are both together opposing this. Look at this irony. When, if only wages are paid into your accounts, mm -hmm. for which the account has been opened, Jandan, even if it is zero balance account, if only the account gets the wages, would you not know who is paying minimum wage and who is not? Is it possible then to track it and question the employer? No, we don't want that. I'm shocked. Secular, so-called secular parties and communist parties are together opposing this. It's going to help the poor. The you get your payment in your account. Ma'am, ma the communists are relying on Kaushik Basu's statement, who is the chief economic advisor of the World Bank. Okay. He also says the corruption okay, is illegal. So. Madam Minister, if I could shift gears. Um, 
to ask you something about your career uh, mm-hmm. in the us uh, a new president has been elected who's had several decades of experience in the corporate sector and so many comments have been made both in approving and disapproving terms of how that qualifies him or does not qualify him enough to occupy a political position given that you're someone who had several years of experience in the corporate sector before you moved to politics what's your experience been how do you think your years in the corporate sector has helped you um, adjust to politics and or helped you in any way thank and you and mind you before that it thank is you. important for you to say this i went from a university like jnu to a corporate sector <laughs> okay yeah. that that is also yeah. a transition yeah. from there to politics is also a transition um see what i've learned from being in the corporate sector is your work culture is more towards get yourself focused get yourself your job description and as per that you go on improving your performance and the reward mechanism in a corporate sector as different from what it is in garment or anywhere else is so very uh, motivating because you're rewarded not just for money you're rewarded for recognition in terms of what you deliver in terms of the quality of work that you perform you become a peer in your group so the rest of them look up to you if you're able to perform just as you can look up to somebody else who does quality work and quality work not just for you know making more money there but even quality in terms of what you qualitatively produce so that culture which is a corporate culture has helped me even now as i do my daily work to see how best i can reach out to the largest section of population to see what is the input that i take from there and how i respond to it so these are measurable not just perception management you know we are all poor pro poor but do nothing for them no i can concretely show what i've done in my own case i can tell you what i've done and let anyone who has a laughter or smirk on their face please go to see my villages where i've adopted as a member of parliament not as a minister in the government as a member of parliament and worked there and i would invite any one of you all who would want to come and see and that is possible by any member of parliament ma'am ma'am i wanted to ask you I'm sorry i'm back to bringing it back to a political question what do you think because a lot of the people like i meant uh, met the assam chief minister yesterday after the bypoll and what's interesting is he is saying that it's a vote for demonetization and the bengal chief minister is claiming her win as a vote against demonetization of course the big elections are coming up uh, and you know in crucial areas do you think this will impact this will be a factor for all of you it will be a very big factor to distinguish those who stand by the promises given we'll work against black money we are working tell us where you have worked tell us where you made a difference it's a promise not just for this country by bjp it's a promise every political party is committed to cleanse the economy cleanse politics from black money so you'll get the advantage of it you think uh, uh, whether it's advantage or not we'll be clean chested about it okay great so go uh, ahead ma'am i have a question on the impact of this on the industry because uh, many areas many states have a lot of revenue from the stamp and du- collections and uh, there is a down, downturn in the real estate industry how do you see that would be impacting the economy of the particular states like we have delhi or uh, we have many urbanized uh, centers where this uh, is leading to a uh, decrease in the revenue of the l- stamp and collection duty especially in the real estate sector no uh, you've touched upon a sector which is rather delicately balanced in this debate because as i said earlier I'm not accusing everyone who's in real estate. Let's be clear. But the practice in many areas when it comes to real estate has always been not 100% by transparent payment mediums, whether it is check, whether it is account to account transfer. When you're buying a property, whether it's an apartment, whether it is a piece of land, whatever, majority of the states are now struggling to make it all white transaction so i wouldn't want to comment on the real estate it is definitely going to impact real estate transaction and the intention is that even in real estate we need to have <coughs> complete transparency people should have their transaction completely uh, put through an institution be it a cooperative bank be it a bank of some nature it should be trans so talking about real estate might be a bit difficult on this but on the other sectors interestingly only 
uh, day before yesterday I had a meeting with all the export promotion agencies. They are industries from various sectors, mm. handloom, handicraft, uh, carpet weaving, um, it could be engineering goods, automobile parts, whatever, a range of uh, exporters. All of them had this feeling uh, that this is a very good step because it's going to make it clean, one. But segments which were dealing with migrant laborers, segments which were dealing with um, unskilled laborers for whom even today they practice cash payments as wage. They said, would you facilitate us having more withdrawals within a week so that we have to do it. I, in the interest of keeping their activity going, I will have to do it. But eventually, even they will have to make sure that their wage is being paid for the workers through a transparency process. It has to be by accounts. So this 10 days, I'm sure it will impact payments. And as a result, some of them may not get the workers back this 10 days. But as it eases out, I expect normalcy. OK, come. last couple of questions. The, the question is not on intention. The question is on preparation. So when you say that this was a secret uh, preparation or planning, so let me give you this information to you that I read a, a, a news uh, uh, a report last month. It was a daily, uh, Gujarat daily, which was published in 28th October, which says that new 2,000 rupees currency note is going to be introduced in this country. Before this announcement, which was happened on 8th November, so they got this information. And another information is uh, the BJP state uh, uh, unit of West Bengal. They deposited crore of rupees in 501,000 uh, currency on the same, do same day of this announcement, just before, I mean, few hours uh, of this announcement by the Prime Minister. So this information was there to the people who were very much uh, uh, inter I mean, interlinked with the government. And another thing, when you say that people are happy with this decision, so what is the measurement of this happiness? When you measure the people who are standing on the queue and the people who have dived by standing on the queue and the people and 300 children who have lost their life in Mangangiri district of um, Odisha. So if you ask their opinion, then they will give the proper information and their uh, opinion. Now the Prime Minister said that you can share your info, I mean, opinion That's by... That's a really long question, Rama. PM up. So this <laughs> yeah. is the thing. Let, let ma'am answer. And yeah. I think the last part. Well, PM's app has got its results. It's out there for anyone to see. Please have a look at it. But the point is, I still will say that if you're quoting one West Bengal, I do not know. I will check it up. Check. I'll check it up. Listen, I have not finished my answer. Hmm? If that is one West Bengal, based on which you're telling me that the PM has informed them and therefore... Every unit of BJP should have been in the bank, converting all the tons of money they are sitting with. Why didn't they do it? What are you telling me? What are you telling me? This, I do not know whether this depositing happened. Even for a minute, let us assume it happened. Co Listen to me, sir, I've heard you. Even for a minute, let's assume it happened. I do not know if it happened. I repeat that. From when? An institution like JNU has used coincidence to become a evidence. No, ma'am, I think. Kya that, baat kar rahe ji? I think when the One opposition minute. raised it. No, no, the opposition raised it. I was there in the house that day when they raised it. We'll give answer, but they didn't want the answer. That's become a culture now. We'll say what we want. We, you hear it, and we'll walk because out that, after that. The Bengal we don't part, want you. They, they the finance minister was seated there. He was willing to answer. No, we don't want to hear the answer because answer will expose your baselessness. One. Second, um, did you talk about uh, uh, Gujarat. Gujarat paper? Again. Even Hindu business line did, by the way. So it's not just a Gujarat paper. I just saw that. But that is true. The 2000 rupee note news was outside. Hindu business line and others reported that the new 2000 rupee note But let's out. say one thing. It's not just by the Prime Minister's announcement that there will be a 2000 rupee note, new note. He didn't say anything of that kind. These are processes and a certain protocol followed by Reserve Bank. They issue a notification saying this currency will be released. On that, anybody could take a cue and write about it. Oh, the Prime Minister on the 8th said new currency. Did he say new currency 2000? I was there listening to him. He didn't say anything. 
So that was the basis. Or did he base it on the Gujarat newspaper's media report? Prime Minister dependent on a media? No. So let's not distort the debate. The debate should actually be who is with, right or wrong, effective or not effective, perfect or imperfect, who is with this fight with us in containing black money? Are we picking holes with black money con uh, containing steps? And therefore, in the name of poor talking, many of you all quoted poor vegetable vendors, poor milk vendors. They don't know. Excuse me. I don't know how active you are on social media. You be on social media or you don't be on social media, not just outside JNU. Please go and see what is happening in the country. People are adopting every way to make sure that their business runs, saying equally, somebody should take action against black money. And I'm glad he's doing it. You mentioned the PM's app, ma'am. You must have also heard there a lot of people are talking about it that the app and the survey, it's ans asking questions as if they all want approval. Like I'll ex I took some of those things out. It says, do you think uh, each of the corruption black money needs to be fought? So that's a rhetorical question. So everybody wants black money in corruption. Then it says, do you believe some anti-corruption activists fighting in support of black money? So when people are questioning that what kind of a survey is this? It's Don't not accept it. Don't accept it. Go on the road. I'll take it from you. Media has been going inclusive of your channel and every other channel. Yeah. To cues after cues. Hey Baba, are you put to difficulty? Are you put to difficulty? Are you not standing here for three hours? Are you not standing for twelve hours? Are you not really? And unfortunately, no. Nobody is getting the answer they want. They are getting answers saying, no, we are standing in queue, we are suffering, but it's all right. Tell me one program in which the television media, which showed pictures also, therefore I am quoting television, let it be print also, who went and had 10 people saying, my God, what has happened to this country? We are not supporting, we are standing in the road. Who are standing in the road? Those who claim who are speaking for the poor, but who actually don't know what the poor want. If indeed they were speaking for the poor, please go get the information which the media tried getting. I appreciate their effort. But they got an output which may not convince many people. But they got it from the places where they went. I didn't send them there. Ma'am, it's a mixed reaction. A lot of people no are way. supporting. No way. So? No, no way. No way. You couldn't find more than one person in a crowd of 50 who said sorry. Okay, final question. Ma'am, my last yes. observation. Ma no, no, don't last say last. There may be another uh, yes, set of people. From my side. Yeah, okay. no, but there are Sunetra, just one point. No, no, Sunetra. Hmm. I'm not... Hang on, hang on, Hamidji. Ah. I'm not undermining no. the difficulty. Ma'am, yeah. minister ka kuch, aap ka kuch abhi ho sakta hai. Nee, ek minute ji. I'm not claiming there's nobody suffering. I'm not saying in the first week people were standing in the queue for nothing. I'm not saying any of that. But to say that only that is happening, the government is insensitive. I'm sorry, that's not fair. Every day when the inputs come, people are sitting and taking decisions and the next morning we are responding to it. Be it even on this Shadi clause on which the Reserve Bank came with many conditions and people said it is not implementable. Are you really wanting to help people in whose house shadis are happening? Mm. Next morning, mm. the next morning, the rules and conditions were waived to make it easier for people who have genuine difficulties. Mm. We are responding too. Mm. So now all these economists who are saying that the, after a great monsoon, we were going to have, great. you know, it was going to, economy was going to do very well and GDP figures are now going to fall. What would you say to them? You know, suddenly, it's, I'm glad to hear this. <laughs> ma am an expert. No, no, no. Say, you know, no, no. Like Till before the demonetization yeah. exercise ma am, ma am, happened. Ma am, ma am. One no, one minute. Let her, let her, let her. Even the same economist just one month before was saying that this economy is going down. The GDP Last data point. which is coming is a wrong data, it is a managed data. Yes, ma now no, they are many of the economists did not, didn't even speak up. And some of them spoke up then saying it's all right, you know, 7.5, the government's data should be questioned. 
we doubt the credibility of government's data. Nobody really said, oh, you're doing well. Now, after the demonetization, the government, actually the economy was doing well, you know. Look at what you've done. You shot the tire of a speeding car. Excuse me. Where were you all before that? Why couldn't you tell me that we were doing really well and now you come to tell me oh, you were doing yeah. well then, not fantastic. now? Fantastic. Okay, fantastic. Ma'am, last observation from my side. Uh, you, you have a right to oppose me. But what Thank I found, you. what I found, <laughs> what I found, this, this, Keep it very short. Yes, this government is a pro-corporate pro uh, pro government, which I have seen in your statement. And the last request I wanted to do, apart from this monetization, you are a JNU alumni. A student of JNU has been missing from 38 days. And we request you, not just a BJP MP or a minister, because you are a JNU alumni and you are a certain position where you can influence. Missing for 38 days? 38 days. Najib has been missing from this campus last 38 mm -hmm. days. And mm -hmm. I request you, not just an NSY, just you are my senior, I request you, please do something. What you can do as a minister and as a BJP MP and our senior? No, obviously, it's, it's a very worrying uh, incident. I'm very concerned too. I mean, first of all, first of all, I want you all to have one thing in mind. Irrespective of the party, whether you like us, we, 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 you don't like us, leave it aside. Every government has a responsibility to its citizens. To pitch it as well, like the way most often it happens here. Where is our world? Sorry. An Indian citizen is missing. Yes. A student is missing. We are not trying to say, we know where he is, we will not tell you. No. What kind of an attitude are we having? It need not be you versus us. It is our government. You may like the government or you may not like it. It is an elected government. It has a responsibility to the people. And this attitude of, I hate somebody, so I'll hate the government. I don't want this government. You're seeing it playing in US today. I don't think, hey, Ank, you, do you have a problem? No, no, do you have a problem when you hear people answering your questions? You said, you, <laughs> I'll answer your question. I, I request you to learn an attitude being a part of JNU. I'm sorry, I never speak like this to people. I don't advise people. But I take the liberty to tell you, you have asked me a question, I'm trying to answer it. You may not like my answer, but please, for the other's sake, Stop giving running commentaries. Listen to my answer and protest if you want. But running commentary my vicariously satisfy you, but you're denying the opportunity for the rest of them to hear it. Please, your question is important. The answer has to be given. Not just this one, any question you ask is important. So let me answer. All right? And your running commentary undermines my freedom to answer you. That's not what you people in JNU, what we people from JNU believe in. Yeah. No, no, why do you say that there's not been any action? I agree, I agree, but that doesn't mean that the government is not taking any action. We are not able to find them yet, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean there's no action taken. Till we find him, we need to have action, continuing action to be taken. Okay, but like inside... Risk, see, till you find him. In Delhi Till you find him hale and hearty. Nobody is going to be convinced about action. That's the unfortunate situation. Action is happening. And I hope sooner we find him hail and hearty and I give it back to him. That's a perfect yeah, what is note it? to... I was just saying the other day when after the protest we were detained in Mandir Mark police station. Even Mandir Mark police station people do not know who is Najib. What about Najib? Like what is it case all about? So only nearby... JNU and inside JNU there are posters and there are certain actions taken by Delhi police. But even Delhi police, other units like other than Vasant Kunj, the other police stations are not aware about Najib's case. Then how can we? Tr how, how do you can say that? Because we have real, uh, we have faced it. When no, we said minute, that it minute. is our like my name is Najib, the police started writing the name as Najib, a girl's name as a Najib. The other person said my name is Najib. Then also he wrote the same. So it I shows interview? that how no, much sensitive how the yeah. Delhi police. No, wait a minute. <laughs> but that is no reflection. No, that is not the point that so is not the minute. point every like are you a spokesperson of I have bjp a, government i have a yeah, point we, we're totally out of time and i think we should thank no, the no, minister i'm answering i'm answering but these kind of uh, uh, these kind of incidents your experience i've had such a similar experience so i'm saying with experience in my mind i've gone to the entrance of tihar jail 
during the 83, the non-year in this campus. I have agitated at that time. I was a free thinker. I agitated. I have had this experience. <coughs> and at that time, in that camp office, where all of us were held, many of us gave names, Mahatma Gandhi, Kasturiba Gandhi. They wrote down, wait a minute, ma'am. Wait a minute. Why? Your experience is great, mine is not. It's not about that. Then, right? why what you... are the actions taken by Delhi police? You, you quoted an incident and I'm giving you, in response, an incident again to explain. Again, would you give that patience in hearing to me? Such experiences have happened even to me is what I'm telling you. I am not trying to deny your experience. But that doesn't mean the police will have to immediately say, oh yes, we know about Najib. Last year, last night we went and searched. They don't disclose information to everybody, madam. And if they are writing names, they are writing because you say it. And if they said, hey, you can't be Najib, you'll say, hey, that's my right, I'll say whatever name I want. All this happens in every incident. So let's please put this debate in its context rather than sensationalizing it. We need to find this boy. Yeah. We need to find this boy. Adding these kind of things may satisfy you, but it doesn't help the investigation. Well, right? I think that's a perfect note to end on. And I just want to thank uh, the Commerce Minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, for coming thank you, here. It's, been, it's a very brave thing to do uh, because students are tough people and they are asked tough questions of everyone, the media as well. So I really, I think she deserves a round of applause. So thank you very much, Nirmala Sitaraman. Uh, for this special edition on Weekends on the Block. Thank you very much.